We're going to do a little unboxing of the solar light and charger made by GearTrust. It's a little compact uh, charger for your phone or tablet. It can charge either by USB or by direct sunlight. Um, so if you're a camper or you hike a lot, um, this is, could be a good battery to keep your phone running, keep your MP3 player going. Um, I love camping, I love the outdoors, and having power is not always a great option. Even if you're just going to the beach, this could be a nice device to make sure you don't run out of power when you're streaming music at the beach um, to enjoy the day with your family. So let's unbox this, check it out. I'll test it out a little bit and come back and give you a full review. Um, I have not even removed the uh, seals on this, so this will be my true kind of first impression of the device. So there we go. Pops out pretty easy, nice case. Um, first thing is there is a little uh, USB cable here. It's short, but don't need much more than that. Um, and then the actual device itself. So right here is the um, solar panel right there. Uh, it does have a, a hook here to hang it. Um, it says it's supposed to be able to, yep, to um, be on a stand so you can angle it to face directly to the sunlight. Um, on the side here is your USB out. And then on this side is the USB in for charging. And see here, basic flashlight. Um, it looks like that does rotate right there. So that's nice. So it's also a nice little flashlight. You know, make sure you don't lose a flashlight when you're out in the wilderness. Power button right here in the back is this big button. And then indicators. It looks like it came with one charge bar right there. So I'll have to charge this up. So it feels good. Kind of a rubbery soft feel to it a little bit. And then um, this is a metal hefty feeling clip. Feels like I could hang that on my bag with no problem. So uh, first impression of it is uh, um, good. I feel like it's good quality and I feel like I would be happy to use it. So, and one last thing in here is a manual, very basic um, instructions on here. It does talk about charge time. Um, I'll link all that kind of details, the charge time, the battery specs, all that in the comments of the YouTube video. Um, so if you have any of that, check there. Otherwise, I'll go check this out and let you know what I think in a little bit. So I've been using the solar charger for a while now. Um, been very impressed with it. it the few things you want to keep in mind with it though is it does take a full day of solid direct sunlight to charge it from scratch. What you do want to do if you're going to use this is charge it at home, use your USB um, wall charger, plug it into a computer and charge it that way. That way, uh, let's say you plug in your phone, you get 50% charge on your phone from the battery to top it off before you go you know, out or whatever, you only have to refill half the battery. Um, so you don't have to worry about a full day of making sure it's in sunlight. Uh, the other thing to think about with it is how big is the battery in the device you're charging. Um, most phones like my Galaxy S4 here, um, this will charge at 100%. It's a 3,000 milliamp battery, so it could do that great. Um, but if you have a tablet or another device, or um, like you can buy double size batteries for these um, Galaxy phones, will that hold um, you know, it's a 4,000 battery, it's a 6,000 battery, you can buy those for phones. In that case, you won't get a full charge because this is only a 3,000 battery. So keep that in mind, know the size of your battery. Um, if you're somebody out there buying double batteries, you're probably familiar with this um, issue. Uh, but if you have a standard battery of an S4, S5, iPhone, so forth, you shouldn't have any issues getting a full charge because all those standard batteries that come with your phone when you buy it, uh, will uh, be fully capable of being charged on here. Um, iPads and tablets won't give a full charge, but it'll top it off, keep, you know, trickle power, give you a lot of extra use out of it at the beach, at the park, while you're hiking, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I've been very impressed with it. The charge works uh, very quickly. You can see I'm back up to 95% right now. It's charging very rapidly once you connect the battery, get going. You do have to uh, plug it in or turn it on in the back right here. Um, that prevents it from being drained when you're not using it. So 
I'm happy. Highly recommend it. Um, there are devices out there that are big, like fabric solar panels that you can bring and lay out and rapid charge a full tablet. Uh, heck, some of them will even power a laptop. Um, but the problem with those is they're big. Uh, you don't want, want to be hauling those to the beach while you're hiking um, just to top off your phone to make sure you got music or whatever you want to do with it as you're out and about. Um, but if you're looking for something to go to the beach that's small, that you can top off your power to your phone with, uh, that you can charge at home and have it preset to go. Uh, I do a lot of flying. When I fly, I like to listen to audiobooks um, and other stuff. And sometimes when you're flying very long hauls, I can drain the battery. You know, I'm checking email when I'm on the ground, responding to stuff. When I'm in the airplane, I'm playing games and I'm uh, listening to an audiobook or music. I can drain the battery easily flying cross country. Um, this device uh, will allow me to charge my phone on the plane without having to worry about direct sunlight because it's got the built-in battery. So that it's great. It's a use case scenario. You gotta decide, are you looking for a casual top off, occasional hiking, um, trips to the beach, uh, flying on a plane, make sure you have a battery to top that off. This is excellent. If you're looking for a device to fully recharge your iPad, or excuse me, iPad, uh, to power a laptop, this isn't gonna be it. You're gonna wanna be a bigger um, device. But for the price, this is excellent. Good quality. Um, the solar panels um, seem to work great. It feels very rugged. Um, kind of a rubbery feel here. A very good solid feel on the um, solar panels. I feel like I could throw that in my backpack and not worry about breaking it. So if you have questions, comments, leave them in the uh, YouTube video or and I'll do my best to answer them as quick as I can. Oh,